Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, which most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. The plain small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within some of, not just in some of us, but is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates others. Marianne Williamson. Like to say hello and welcome to I Am The Change. I'm Michelle Simon Kelly. I am gonna be getting rid of my last name. I've been divorced for over 10 years and by the end of the year, I'm gonna get rid of the Kelly and go back to my maiden officially. Um, I'm not feeling very brilliant, fabulous, talented, and brilliant, fabulous, talented. I, I don't feel that way at all today, you guys. It's Thursday, April 12th, I think it is. And um, it might be the 11th, I'm not even sure, but it's a Thursday. And I started these videos as my New Year's resolution back in 2019. Stating out loud, I was breaking up with fear, I was breaking up with shame, and I was breaking up with guilt. Followed by a weekly video, got would a weekly video showing you guys every week how fear, shame, and guilt wasn't breaking up with me. And this has turned into how I'm telling you guys. I'm recording my life as I'm going, and I know eventually I'm gonna be in the public eye. And most of the time you hear from people after after they've arrived. And then they say it only took them, you know, 12 or 13 years. They lived in a car, this happened, that happened. And everybody's like, oh my God, I can't believe you went through that. Um, I'm telling you what I'm going through as this is happening. And it's, it's freaking hard. And I haven't felt good for a really long time. I got diagnosed last year with CRPS, which is complex regional pain syndrome. I have type two, which is in your nerves, and it's all throughout my spine and my neck and my shoulder blades and my rib cage and my bra line, and it's in my chest. And last night I ended up at the emergency ward again, only my fifth time going since I've had this. And um, nothing was helping, like no medication, no nothing. I can't stand up, couldn't lay down. I couldn't get comfortable. No matter what I took, it wasn't doing anything. I was in so much pain. My ex-husband took me to the hospital and sat with me and stayed the whole night, which was awesome. And um, we're friends now after, it took us like eight years to be able to be friends. I think he was able to be friends before I was, but I wasn't ready. I had to go through my process of forgiveness, which that is my new year's resolution this year is working on forgiveness. And, you know, I have all these lists of, I had all, a list of all these people that I needed to forgive, but there might be a ton of people out there who need to forgive me. I forget that part. I always remember what you've done to me, not what I've done to you. And maybe, maybe you don't like me because I've done hurtful things to you and you never told me and I just don't know about it. So um, I am working on the forgiveness and hopefully if I ever did anything to hurt any of you, if you could please tell me, I'd like to know so I could address it and hopefully help you with that. Um, anyway, I've been struggling with the CRPS and I went two weeks ago, actually it might be three weeks now, it was the week before Easter, I went and had this thing called a medial branch block. And they do two of these, and then they do the actual thing, which is called an ablation. An ablation is the burning of the nerve, so hopefully you don't feel the pain, because all my pain is nerve pain. And it, it hurts to wear clothes, it hurts to wear a bra, 
and I keep praying to God that I don't have this and I keep going for all these tests just to make sure this isn't one I have because the ultimate treatment with this is ketamine treatments and um, I didn't want to get those if I didn't absolutely have to and there's a therapy in Florida called scrambler therapy and there's also somebody in Pennsylvania who does the same kind of thing but she does it through acupuncture and of course insurance doesn't cover this stuff and it is a reprogramming of your brain and pain receptors and um, I wanted to get that done before I got the ketamine done like the ketamine was going to be my last stop and Last night at the hospital, they gave me ketamine and, and it helped. And I now am going to go and get that from my doctor. I'm in, you guys, I'm just in so much pain sitting here. I'm going to go and get that from my doctor. And it's four times a week for two weeks in a row. And you're not allowed to drive there. And it's like a two to three hour, maybe three to four hour session. And that's going to start the end of April, April 29th. And my actual ex-husband said he would take me, um, but he's going to be away. So I have to find another way there because I'm not allowed to drive. And I have to go to Paoli from Limerick for twice, you know, not twice, every day, twice, you know, I need a ride there and a ride home. So for eight days, so I'm going to have to figure that out. And um, I just, I can't stay in this kind of pain. It it's so like, I can't lay, I can't sit. I sat all day, even like I've been blowing through Advil bottles of like 500 Advils, like a month. And that's been in between pain medicine. Um, and now I'm on steroids and I'm sweating to death and they're not doing anything except making me sweat. But it's just been not the best time. And I hate for people to see me like this because it sucks and I want to hide and um but I know I need to I need to show the mess not the message you need to see the mess because everything isn't great all the time and you know today in my video I really wanted to talk about sleep because I haven't been sleeping well but on Saturday this past Saturday it was the weekend before the big eclipse Saturday, I went to a party during the day and I've been in pain and I can go places if I absolutely have to, but it's, it sucks, but it sucks at home too. So I went to this party and it was wonderful. I got home at like 8.30 at night. I went to bed and slept for like 15 hours on Saturday night to Sunday. I slept until 11.30 a.m. And then I took an a nap at 2.30 for like two and a half hours on Sunday. So I slept so much. And then I didn't sleep good on Sunday night. But on the day of the eclipse, that night I slept really good again. And my girlfriend and I came over. And, and my girlfriend came over. We found the glasses at the last second. And um, some, I put it up on Facebook and somebody got back to me and I was able to get them for us, which was really cool. I got to see a little bit, but then the clouds came and you couldn't see anything, but it was cool. And we put intentions in a balloon and let them go, which was really cool. And then my ex-husband was telling me last night, it's not good to put balloons out because they animals eat them and it makes them sick. And I'm like, holy shit, I didn't know that. Note to self next year or next time there is this one. I don't know. It could be before. There might not be one before I die. But I set an intention and then burn it and put it out to the universe that way. I'll do it better next time. So anyway, um, you guys, I have chest pain and heart pain all the time. And it's not my heart. And I know that heart problems are a result of lack of joy. And I still have joy. I looked outside. It's really windy right now. And I have wind chimes. And my girlfriend told me this is why I got my wind chimes. She said, every time the wind chimes, angels get their wings. So I have wind chimes. And every time they chime, they make me so happy. So um, I have two sets now. And they just they're making me so happy right now. And I also have this tree and I looked out and it's starting to bloom and it's getting beautiful pink 
blooms on them and I don't know everybody probably knows what kind of tree it is I don't I don't pay attention to that stuff but this is your sign signing off thanks so much for watching stay safe stay tuned and I'll see you all next week thanks